Okay, story time. This is my friend Florence. We went to a film school together at USC. Mm -hmm. Well, she went to film school. I didn't get into the film school and I dropped out. And she dropped out too, so we're both... We're cautionary tales. And we're going to tell you the story of when we almost burned down Norris Theater at USC. Yes. And almost blew ourselves up. Totally. So, so uh, she was yeah. making a, a little short film that was a film noir. She was shooting in black and white. And me and my friend Adam, who's now a big film director, and Wes, who's like a big special effects guy, yeah. uh, like, like all dressed up in trench coats. And we were the bad guys trying to get this briefcase from this person. And at the end of the movie, the briefcase was supposed to be opened in an alley, and it was going to explode. And the way we were going to do this is we had found out that if you put a little bit of cremora in your hand and drop it over an open flame, it makes a big flash of flame, which is yeah, dangerous, exactly. but we didn't think of that. We thought, hey, that's that's fun. And so we went to the store and we bought a, like a, a, a 16 ounce. ounce no, 64. 16, we like, huge. It was like this huge thing of cremora. It's non-dairy creamer that's that's in powdered form. And we bought this, this huge canister of cremora. And we got, one night we went behind Norris Theater, there was a little alcove in the, uh, in the alley, yeah. and there was a fire escape, and we That's set up at the bottom of the thing with the briefcase, and Robert, her boyfriend at the time, climbed up to the second floor of the, uh, of the fire escape, fire escape yeah. and he was going to pour the cremora down, because it only catches fire if it's in the air and surrounded by oxygen molecule, <laughs> oxygen mo molecules. I don't know how to say it. Oxygen <laughs> molecules. And uh, it's oxygen <laughs> molecules, oxygen <laughs> molecules, oxygen molecules. And uh, and and so so we had like a little book of matches we set on fire in the in the open briefcase and and Florence is like, We don't know how big this fire is gonna be, so you guys have to get like fifteen feet back from it. And and I'll I'll shoot it from a distance and I'll zoom in so it'll compress the, 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 the space and it'll look like you're right by it. And then when, when the flame starts happening, you guys fall back as though you're getting knocked back by the flame. Turns out we didn't need to act. So so we're standing there in our in our trench coats and she's like, Okay, go and Robert starts pouring the the cremora from the second floor and it starts floating down and this big mist of white stuff is coming down and we're like and it goes all the way down and it's like, and now yeah. it's like sort of hitting the, hit, hitting the, the fire. And we're like, oh, this is, it's just not going to work. It's not going to <laughs> And this big flame exploded and, and, we, and like Wait, hit no, us no. in the face. Yeah. I was ready to pretend I was being knocked back. It actually came and I felt the flame hit my <laughs> face and go past my ears. And I just fell back and landed on the ground. And, and Adam and I were just like, please don't let my face be on fire. And she says, cut. And then we go, oh, no, no. like we're like bad again. Like, like we had, but we were okay. And then she showed it to her class. Oh and, yeah. And, they wanted to know how we did it. <laughs> Yeah, I got like, an A. Got an a. a. Uh -huh. but, but it's amazing we did not get the cops called on us. The only reason we didn't is because there were two buildings right next to each other. So you would have had to be in the alley to see it happen. Yeah. But it was it was probably 30 or 40 feet across and three stories high is how yeah. big, the, big this flame was. But still, we are like, and let's go. Like, we have to go. It, pack up. Pack up. We have to go. It looked amazing. I saw it once and I was like, it looks like we spent like $30,000 on pyrotechnics. And it was literally like a $6 bottle of, of Cremora. Yeah. And we slow mowed it. So it was yes, really good. It's, uh, it, uh, it looked fantastic. And, uh, and sadly, we no longer have that footage. Florence's ex-husband... Uh, threw it away because there was a box of Super 8s and there was nothing, nothing Just, they could show Super 8 on. Yeah. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, and that's why he's her ex-husband. That's why she divorced him. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to you. Don't play with fire, kids. Right.